Hey y'all, what's up? This is the Big Red. I know y'all can't really see me, but just listen to this message, okay? Just sit back and listen. I was just wondering and just thinking, <laughs> people are so funny. How is it that, that a lot of you talk about how somebody is narcissist, narcissist, he a narcissist, she a narcissist, but it's like, a lot of the time, y'all be the ones creating the problem in the first place. Because number one, y'all they enabled them their whole life. Number two, they think they a uh, queen or king of the world. Number three, y'all didn't teach boundaries and y'all lack boundaries to call them out on their BS. Number four, y'all enable and excuse bad behavior. So, duh, of course they're going to turn out to be a narcissist or a selfish person. And, oh, everybody's so selfish these days. I wonder why. Y'all overly spoil y'all kids. Y'all overly teach them that they just uh, Queen Elizabeth and King goddamn whoever. King Tut. And so, duh, that's why there's so many narcissistic, selfish people, self-centered people now these days. That's why this generation is all messed up. It's because y'all the ones who did it. Whoever raised them, y'all the ones who did it. So shut up and you can't be mad. Like, ain't no way you, so many people complaining about the toxic ways and the self-centered ways of their partner or their family member that they with. When half the time y'all scared to call them out on their bullshit. Duh. Of course they're going to be like that. Y'all never called them out in their whole life. Y'all sat there and, uh, and said, oh, that's how they are. Oh, it's okay. She just having a bad day. He just bad having a bad day. That's just how they is. That's their personality. Bullshit. No, like, so because that's their personality, that's how you excuse it. You excuse that. <laughs> and then wonder why it's so many demonic, spoiled, bratty monsters out here. Because y'all did it. <laughs> Duh. Y'all put them kids in all that trauma. And that's another reason how people become narcissistic because of all that trauma that they was exposed to y'all to put the kids in that trauma y'all to enable and coddle them kids and overly spoil them kids y'all did that so shut up with all that complaining y'all sat there and let family members have bad behavior and don't call them out on their bs in their riffraff y'all did that you can't complain about it because you the one enabling and crippling them and it's in the same sentence so you don't get the right to complain shut up that was just a little rant <laughs> i'm just laying down in my robe relaxing and just wondering why do people do that like and another thing too is if you lack boundaries and you don't know how to check people and you got a um compassionate uh spirit and mindset and stuff you gonna attract them kind of people too so that's another way and like the world would be a better place if everybody had boundaries and uh, self-respect for themselves and had common sense to not enable and coddle and baby people because that's where it comes from, is that enabling. And if you come from a narcissistic family too, um, you going to be around, you probably, it's going to feel normal to you to, to uh, 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 accept and attract narcissistic people. So you need to take a look at your family. Yes, your mama, your grandma, and them um, selfish, self-centered excuses, no empathy. Um, they lack boundaries. If them kind of people is around you, most likely they they narcissistic. And that's another way that people can be um attracted to that too. Is if you come from a family of that, that's another way people. I mean, not attracted. That's another way people can be narcissists. Is beside the spoiling and the coddling. Is if they came from that. So if they daddy like that and all they mama like that, everybody like that. Most of the time, they gonna be like that too. They think they just hot shit and they think the world revolves around them and they think that um like they play a lot of mind games, a lot of mental manipulation and stuff like that. So. Yep. Child, y'all better quit playing. And if you a person who don't want to be like your family, if your family is narcissistic, step away from that. You don't got to be effed up like them. You can be a good person and not be messed up because them people mess up people because they are really hurt, low self-esteem, very insecure people. And yes, your grandma, I'm talking about her too. <laughs> your mama, your daddy, your granddaddy. 
because that's where it comes from is them. They pass it down. So, yeah. Um, that's it for this message, though. <laughs> Don't nobody care. You need to get caught. Don't let me be a parent, huh? Child, please. The accountability coach is in session. You can't just hold the women and your daughters and nieces accountable and not say nothing to the men. That's a problem we got in our community real bad is the men get to skate off the ice. But the women, we got to take the, um, the carry the load for a lot of stuff. And, like, that's BS. And y'all wonder why so many men be messed up? Because y'all did it. Your grandmas, your aunties, your mamas. Your um sisters, the, the most of the time, the women do that out of nurture, nurturing, overly nurturing, overly spoiling. Y'all the one did it. So shut up. Quit playing because you can't reverse what you didn't create it. Decades of a monster. You didn't put decades of a monster into him or her because the women can be like that, too. So, yeah, this is my message to please stop. Sitting up whining, fussing, crying about somebody narcissist, he narcissist, she narcissist. Get some balls and get some boundaries and some love about yourself. And once you peep it, walk away and send them back to they, um wherever they came from. Okay? And stop making excuses for people. Don't nobody care. Recommend therapy and you keep it moving. Bye. Have a good day.